Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion here today. Uh, this is kind of continu well, it's not a continuation of the other one. It's a totally different topic, but it's still me in the woods in the pouring rain. And, um, yeah. So, my name is Kimberly Quinn, and I am excited to have this discussion. There's a little G just ro rolling around the ferns right there. I'm so excited to have this discussion today, and I'm just going to say it looks very, like, Jurassic Park in here for some reason to me today. I don't no, but see those trees? Like, you just can picture a raptor, like, swooping right through the middle of them. But anyway, also bear country, so I'm keeping my eye out because we know that they're here. Why? Because, you know, they live here. If you're going to send the bear, the bears a postcard, it would be the woods, you know, zip code, whole thing. Okay, so really what I want to talk to, and this is the ideal environment for it, especially with the rain, even though currently, if you could see my bottom half, I'm completely soaked. i got to get home and jump in a hot shower quickly, but anyway, is we can't give what we don't have, you know? It sounds so cheesy and cliche, but people don't really get that. It's it's kind of like, you know, if you have an, an empty fuel tank, you can't drive or do anything, or, you know, as, um, as Wayne Dyer says, you know, if, if somebody asks me for a dozen oranges, I can't give them to you unless I go out and acquire them somehow. I go out and buy them. I go into my fridge because I already had some. I can't, we can't come up with it if we just don't have it, and so, even though that sounds so ridiculously simple, it's really true. So in this life-giving atmosphere I'm in right now, with the rain, I'm under gazebo, so I'm not currently getting more soaked, but it's just delightful. It's, at, it's so peaceful and serene, and it feels life-giving, you know, especially because of the rain. So I'm a big meant-to-be person, and this walk was meant to unfold with me getting soaked out here in the bliss, because it is blissful. And so, okay, so here's the thing. So we... If we want, you know, so-and-so, we wish they could be more loving. Well, they can't give love if they don't have love. You just cannot do it. If somebody's filled up with jealousy and envy and insecurity or whatever, that's what they have to give, more jealousy and envy and insecurity. And that's just how it is. And so if that's what we're carrying around, that's what we're going to deliver. And it's important to pay attention once again, to our feelings, because we know that thoughts come first and feelings second, right? So if we're walking around feeling insecure and unworthy and all that stuff, that, that indicates the thoughts that are going on behind the curtain. Because we cannot feel insecure without thinking about insecurity first. That's just how it goes. And so Wayne Dyer, one of my greatest teachers, he's right up there with Oprah for me, you know, my very close friend, she just isn't aware he talks uh, a lot about clearing out the junk, and all that stuff is junk because think about it. We are human beings having a spiritual experience. So when we, when we, you know, pop out of mom's womb, not a visual a lot of people want, all wet and cute and everything, and they wrap you up in a blanket, we are, we are born just these perfect spirits. And of course, our spirits are perfect anyway. We're born into this we're perfect spirits born into this human experience, though that little baby doesn't have any junk. She or he, does they don't have any of that junk to, to carry around. They just, they have all the love to give. And kind of the irony in it is that many of us, and they also feel worthy, right? They feel worthy. Just breathing, they feel worthy. And the irony in it is that so many of us, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond, try so hard to get back what we watch walking around in little toddlers, you know, they're just so happy to just join in in a game and just to help themselves to people's popcorn that they don't even know because they assume it's okay. You know, we just spend our whole lives trying to get that back. And we, the thing is, it's there, it's just shoved in the back seat or maybe even the trunk. That's, that's how it is. And so in order to be able to give that love like a, like a one-year-old baby or toddler can do, we have to have that front and center in the driver's seat. That love which we have in us has got to be in the driver's seat in order to give it. And that's just how it is. So Wayne Dyer does a lot of talking about this. To, to, before we clear out the junk, there's not a lot we can do as far as, you know, advancing further along the path of authenticity and purpose. Because without that feeling of worthiness and all these, you know, positive emotions, that is all just very, very difficult. We cannot give what we do not have. Which is also why... My dear friend Oprah talks a lot about keeping ourselves filled up, filling ourselves up with all that, you know, t taking in the goodness from wherever it comes, even if it's this much, taking it in, doing things that, that make our hearts sing, even if your schedule is so, so, so tight, 
anybody can spend five minutes in the bathroom. So, you know, to take one of those minutes and just be mindful or, or uh, cut some wildflowers or do whatever that makes your heart sing, it's so important. And she talks about that cup, you know, keeping that cup filled up so we can give, keeping it up and overflowing. What's in the cup is for us. What overflows out of that cup is for y'all. That's what she'd say. So that's it. We cannot give what we do not have. And the way we do that is to uh, start working on knowing our self-value, our worthiness, and keeping ourselves filled up. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful, very wet, hi G, notch in northern Vermont. Have a mindful, dry day.